Marshall and I, we are fine the Jesus Paul, the old Paul. Hello, shalom. Hello. Uh, my name is Yuval. I come here in the Kibbutz Kinosar. My father is a fisherman. We are second generation for fishermen. And all the time I'm a child, I play in the water. I not uh, learn English. I not learn in the school. I a uh, green boy, yes, you know. But all the time I'm a child, I dreaming. One day maybe I find boat or something old in the lake. <coughs> maybe one day the water going and I find what for in the water. I think not something from God, uh, something from, uh, you know, Abraham time, something like this. <laughs> yeah, something like <laughs> And uh, I grow up, my hobby are theology. I take my little brother Moshe Lewis, and we are looking all the area, the same dreaming, maybe we are finding something one day. And suddenly, no raining, and the level going. We are feeling this, this, this is a chance. Now maybe we are finding what we are dreaming. And we are looking day and night too. Because we are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, suddenly, near from Magdala and here, I think uh, only 300 from here. Uh, yeah, 300? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are finding coin. Very old coin. And we are feeling if coin is there, maybe another thing. So with this area we are looking and one day we are seeing nay. After 20 centimeters, another one, another one. We are clean the place, we are see the wood, and we are said, wow, we are fine. We are jumping there. <laughs> we are dancing. Mm -hmm. I feeling I, I touching the sky, something like this. <laughs> First of all, two years, two, two weeks. I'm not, I don't know good English. I think because of the school, I don't swim. <laughs> so I'm not. Uh, first of all, we are not talking for nobody because we are fine treasure. Both for us is, is a treasure. But after two years, uh, two weeks, we are. Uh, called the archaeologic and the archaeological. And the moment we are archaeologically pieces and said, oh, she is very old because she is building like all time. The weather changed. It's very strong rain starting, it starts quickly, sun go outside, it's big rainbow. Go outside, she's so strong, she's double rainbow. You see sometimes two rainbow. We are feeling this ball. She belong from somebody, and now somebody give it to us chance to look at her or touch her. Now she goes us, something like this. And after many miracles, she is here now. My brother Moshe and I, we are called this boat, this boat, because we are feeling she changed all the area for something good. You see, people like you come, she is this boat. This is my little story. Very good. If any question, but speak slowly. Come, come with me. Yeah, come here. More people come. If any question, but ask it slowly, you see my little question. What is the first?
great discovery. And then he has a among the experts in life, the marine archaeologist Kelly Jackson, and his assistant in Kurt. We are immediately as a nation of the many dollars They touched it with a tinsel once. And you saw two dancers up in the air. One of them had a point of reaction and got that very excited of crazy race to get his time and odds started. As soon as we started excavating, we were in a sense of sprawl. We were playing in the <laughs> My first job as a conservator was to make sure the wood didn't dry out. It's waterlogged wood. The minute it dries out, it turns to powder. We had to use sprinklers, and people had to spray water on it all day long. An awning was built for shade. The digging around such an ancient and big object required special care. While we were digging, it became clear that we couldn't use tools near the wood. We had to use our bare hands, as the wood was so soft and spongy, our fingers just went right through it. Then it was time to decide how to move the boat. Experts from the port of Haifa arrived, engineers. We went to the Air Force, the Navy, the, the port authorities, the airplane, they all out. The Air Force offered us a helicopter. At the end, it was Warner who came up with the idea of how to actually uh, move the boat. The solution found was to fill up and wrap the boat with polyurethane, a fast-drying plastic foam. That's how we filled it up from the inside, but how do you fill it up from below? It's filled with mud, and if you remove the sand, it will fall over. We solved that by digging channels the width of a person underneath the boat. After digging the channels under the boat, they were filled with foam. We spray the polyurethane, and it expands and settles, and another channel can be made right away. At the end, the entire boat was covered with polyurethane, and yet it was still not clear how to move it to dry land. The most logical thing to do was to simply sail it on the Sea of Galilee, and then lift it out with a crane and place it on land. And we sailed the boat out for the first time in 2,000 years. It was sailing on the waters of the Sea of Galilee. And then the boat slowly began to come up. Everyone was so excited they had tears in their eyes. To sail in a 2,000 year old boat is simply incredible. The following day, when the crane came to pull it out of the water, there was one very dangerous moment. One wrong move, and it could just disappear. The crane lifted the boat. And placed it on the shore, and then we could breathe. We understood that we'd done the first step. We completed something. somewhere in the area, but um, also because of the way that the land is at this particular spot, the acoustics on certain days could be really fantastic. So we think perhaps that the summer of the mountain took place in this area, but for sure it is at this end of the lake. So we're going to go down uh, just a little way on the right hand side um, and have a bit of time for praise and worship. Take your uh,